The podcast is back. Welcome to Tasser Guide Service. Join along as my guests and I dive into our outdoor adventures, share some laughs, and of course a few beers. A new episode will be released every other Friday at 5 a.m. I hope you guys have as much fun watching as we did making it. Well guys, this is our crew for today. We had uh, four lined up and two shows. So those of you that didn't, F you. <laughs> and I'm a fill in. <laughs> I'm just here. So we got Brian Kinsey, old B boy. He's been on a few times. And we got Timmy Waters, he's a new one. He's a new guy. Yeah. When was the last time you fished, Timmy? Uh but you gotta think that hard has been too long. Well it it yeah, it's uh <laughs> It's been a while. A uh, few months, probably six months, eight last year. Well, I haven't got a fishing license yet this year, so I so guess, definitely uh, didn't fish this year. Def- no, really did not <laughs> fish actually this year. But uh, it would have been last summer, sometime. So yeah. Where'd you, what'd you catch? What'd you fish for? Oh, we went fishing uh, for basically anything on worms and yeah. caught little bass, piano cat. About it. You slaughter them. Just, <laughs> no, just no. enough to keep you busy. <laughs> right. Just <laughs> enough to re- rehook all the time. Nice. With the little ones that weren't worth the shit. But it's yeah. Fine. So did you take Atlanta or? Yeah. Yeah, we did. She well. And then where we were at, there was basically well, and we took the other kids too, the wife and the kids. Nah, so there was five nice. of us. Oh, so you were busy boy. It was yeah, and there was like basically <laughs> one spot you could access, you know. So you got because of the weeds. And yeah, shit. so you had five people wanting uh, one accessible spot, and well, you can imagine about how that went. Nice. Did anybody get hooked? Nobody got hooked. That's weird. No. No. They didn't try hard enough. Nah, and barely any fish got hooked. So I mean, you know, <laughs> we did we did good. The worms yeah. were safe that day. Right. Well, which is okay, because, like, I'm, saying, I'm not a big fan of uh, catfish. You know, they hurt. They do. I got a... So, I just... I went bullhead fishing for bait oh. yesterday, and one got me in the palm pretty good. I just step on him. <laughs> oh, jeez. With my foot, and I, I, I kick him back in the water. <laughs> you keep the fins, like, between your fingers and stuff. It don't... They, well... They don't get you. They don't well. get you, but... Or pliers. I have a couple pair of pliers, and then I just frown and look like an idiot. But I got I, mean, I got them things. monster ones. I was catching nice bullheads, you know, 11, 12 inches. Don't let mom bait. hear that. Uh, they're bait. She's gonna fight me for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's flathead bait. She ain't eating. We're, we're gonna be up there fishing to feed her here before too long. <laughs> what well, about you, B boy? How's your fishing going? Not too bad. Did a little fishing with with you. Yeah. Well, recently took Tired. my. Uh, my first cousin once removed, there you go. right? I always call him my second cousin because I didn't know how that shit worked. Explain that, because I think you're full of shit. It's a, it's a generational thing. So, your first cousin... Is my dad's daughter, Michelle. My dad, or my, my uncle's daughter, Michelle. Yeah, so my that's, first your, cousin. that's your first cousin. Yes. So, your first cousin's... With all of her, her and all of her offspring, but every time an offspring happens, it's removed once, removed twice. Removed I thought removed meant it got divorced. Yes, that's, I'm not the only one. No, when you said removed, I was like, oh, who got a divorce? So one one generation <laughs> removed from your first cousin. So Hayden uh, is Michelle's son. So I always thought it was my second cousin. Now Garrett and sense. him are second cousins. Because there's two generations on equal plane, that's second cousin. Non-removed. Not removed. I, I would have to write a map. I, I'd be like, all right, it's I'm a, here. The pyramid. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just draw a squiggly line in between. We're good. We're good. Yeah, it takes a while to learn all that, but you beat it into your head after 40-some years, you, you'll figure it out. Huh. That's something I've never ran across. It's but just, I, I've heard once removed or twice removed, and I just thought it was divorce. Nope. I thought they were no longer yeah. part of the family. It's just a generation. You were moved by that generation one time, two times, however many. <laughs> huh. Anybody is listening is, if, if Kenzie's full of shit, let us know, because he's got his buffalo. I'm buying it. 
I am too, man. I'm too dumb to even think. I could be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong. I've never that, heard of it. That's I what, don't know. That's, what I, that's how I understand it. And, and I have a huge-ass family, and I've never heard of it. <laughs> but everybody to me is just cousin. I don't know. Yeah, you could be my 14th cousin 16 times removed, but you're still cousin. <laughs> It's still going to sleep with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's down far enough. It's fine. You get, couple, you get a couple of ways. Yeah, it's yeah, all right. I ain't seen her in like two months. That's, that's not even close, cousin. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you're going fishing Friday. You're going to take a day off work? Hopefully. I, hopefully. I I think I want to. I, I don't get to spend near enough time with my mom and dad. and Mom kind of shamed me a little bit here a while ago about never taking her to Panama. She's good at that. I'm she's like, good well, at that. Well, she's the best fisherman out of all of you. I don't know why you don't take your mom. Well, I, she, she can out fish it, you guys any day of the week. She's been invited. <laughs> she's always been invited. She's usually got something else she'd rather do. She goes, you boys will have fun. <laughs> Deep down, I think she just doesn't want to spend any time with her little boy. Yeah. But you can't shame her back. She's the queen of shaming. You're right. She can make. She can just look at you and get. Damn it! I'm guilty. <laughs> I can believe it. Yeah. Could, ne could never lie to that woman because she's just. A, she's like a lie detector. <laughs> it's best to be honest. As always. But no, I'd like to. I'd like to get out, go with them a little bit. I got to get tuned up, heading up north this fall. I'd like to get my get my hone my skills. So. I don't, didn't do near enough fishing this summer. I know. And it's about over. Freaking August already. Which hadn't really hurt my feelings because heat sucks. Heat does suck. I like cold a lot better. Yes. A lot better. Especially if I'm a big fan. I don't. I, I don't want to ever be cold again. I cannot wait till I move where it doesn't freeze. How are you going to go ice fishing? Saturday. I'm not. I'm going to catch 80 pounders instead. The block cooler goes through the ice. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather catch an 80 pounder than bait. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess I can tell you this too. I'm in my a long fishing crab. Never been ice fishing. No. No. Never. Which surprises me. Never once. I understand why you don't go fishing in the summertime because you're a huge race fan. Right. So, right. like, he has his spot at one of the local racetracks that. How long have you sat there? How many years? Oh, shit, since I was probably five or six when I was going with my dad when my dad was racing, we, we sat. We that was sat there. It's, it's, his it's, spot. It's, right. People know where to find me. Where yeah. are you sitting? Anytime I, question? anytime I go to go uh, racing, I just send Timmy a message. I'm like, save me a spot. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. save me a seat right up in his section. Yeah, just walks right up. It's... So I get why you're not a big fisherman during the summer. But we need to get you into ice fishing. I mean, that'd be all right. I mean, because, well, I mean, I like snowmobiling, but there's never any snow. <laughs> <laughs> you can ride your snowmobile on the ice. Right. And then I can just <laughs> sit right there and fish. I mean, you guys got all the huts and stuff. And oh, yeah. Them, and I get it. I mean, it'd be all right. It, there's nothing better than fishing when it's 70 degrees. It might be 20 below outside. You're yeah. sitting in a shack where it's 70 degrees. You got your little video game you're watching. And These shacks now... It's easy to heat too. I, the yeah, shack like, I got, I don't even like to turn the heat on. I, uh, body heats enough. I know. I fish with you, and I freeze my ass off every time I do. <laughs> maybe that's saying there's a little size difference. Right? Maybe why? Or... Yeah. He's yeah. sitting over there in a t-shirt, just sweating his ass off. I'm like, can we turn on the heat, buddy? Yeah, but what are you, what are you doing? When you gotta go pee. I mean, you gotta go outside, don't uh, you? I'll go outside and piss, cool off. <laughs> Cold. But those new ice shacks are like a quilted blanket. Literally, they're, they're like quilted. Yep. And yeah, there's there's no wind getting through. There's If you shut the windows, there's no light coming in. I've usually got the door open. <laughs> Matt, when I fish with Matt, the heat's always on. And I'm like, the floor's melting. <laughs> I said, we're gonna go through. He's like, oh, you're fine. He goes, I don't want to be cold. And I says, yeah, well, I don't want to sweat. So we'll shut her down just a, just a bit, just a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sweat, and I wouldn't want to go through either. So, I mean, yeah. I I, you know, it, I was probably 38 before I went ice fishing. But huh. I, I, Ryan and Matt would go, and I'm like, ice fishing, dude. Cold, you don't catch shit. You stomp through shit, fall down. You know, 
piss on this. And then Ryan was fishing somewhere one day. He goes, come on out. And we had one of them little flashing electronic things that showed you where the fish were. That game changer. <laughs> I'm like, well, this cheap. Uh-huh. <laughs> By the end of the day, you owned one. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny because my uncle Bug, he's like, yeah, when you decide you want to do something, you kind of go all in. I'm like, well, there ain't no sense half-assing it. <laughs> right. If it's out there, I want it. It's right. So, Timmy, I'm excited because the flathead are starting to bite, and they're feeding up before the winter, and you're excited for a completely different reason this time of year. I am. What are you most looking forward to in life at this moment? Going Being, to work. If, if my wife sees it, it's hanging out with her. <laughs> <laughs> but the real but answer. the real answer <laughs> is Super Nationals coming up. Boom, Super Nationals. Labor Day week. Uh, it's going to be like 21st or 22nd year camping the whole week long. Uh, it's just... That is its own city it, for that week. It yeah. is. It's crazy. And I drive through it every freaking morning and night on the way home. I just get pissed. I, I would imagine. <laughs> I imagine. It's out wandering around the <laughs> Highway 30. Right. Yeah. If you guys don't know dirt track racing, uh, in our small iowa communities it's pretty prevalent so boone nationals has how many states usually come at least like 30 25 yeah, to 30. yeah there i just saw a post right now they're at i think it's 28 states and uh there's three different provinces canada coming so far so right four or five years ago they said there was 42 states represented yeah that's yep. crazy yeah all come for a week-long race yep and you could be the best in your area and you come to a, this thing and I, I mean you could even be the points leader at Boone yep. and you get into a heat race and you might get eighth place. Yep. I mean the, the, there are hammers every, from, from everywhere here. It is crazy. It's awesome to see. There's sure. a fuck yeah I don't have a race car. Would you just, <laughs> you'd win the whole thing? No I'd, be, what? I'd be laughing people. Well I mean you <laughs> said once you get into something you go all oh, you don't have bad shit so yeah. I mean I, I believe it. You just gotta cheat better than everybody else. Exactly. I mean, we you ain't cheating, bud. You ain't trying. Get your get your car or something. You know, be this will be like the next. No, because then I just I'd never get to fish with him. Yeah. He'd be he'd wow. be tinkering on cars all the time. You know, I, I used to golf. I used to golf quite a bit, uh-huh. and I, there was a point I'm like, I gotta give one up because I ain't getting any better at golf because I don't have enough time to commit to it. I'm like, why? I like fishing more anyway, so I, up, I, I pretty much gave up golf about ten years ago. And if it wasn't for Peyton, I yeah, your I boy, I would start golf getting into golfing. Yeah, I kind of feel bad because it's one thing that he enjoys doing. Just wish he enjoyed fishing a little more. Yeah, he gets out with us once in a great while. Yeah. We talk about it quite a bit. Brian's son worked has been working with me this summer, so he's learning the ropes of being a residential electrician. So we talk about fishing a little bit. Yeah. Trying to turn him to the dark side. Yeah, his future roommate Jackson, I think he watches most of the Spencers and most of these. Yeah. He really likes to fish, but he just doesn't doesn't go because he doesn't have opportunity or I mean I don't think he's really geared up to go by himself much. Yeah. Well, and he's living in a park. Well, they've got a couple state stock ponds that are pretty good right oh, in this area but yeah. as far as the river it's pretty challenging over there well they're yeah that river's so, got like a teaspoon of water in it yeah so there, there ain't shit. but i was driving in that town and i went over a bridge and i just elise was driving i'm like stop i gotta get out and i ran back and sure enough so anyway before the interruption of the camera going shitty on us i was driving in that town which is a pretty big town for our area and i made her pull over and i ran over and looked off the bridge and in the shallows it wasn't more than six inches over the back but there was a 40 pound flathead and probably a 25 pound flathead just sitting there on the sand and the water was so low and clear that i could see him driving over the bridge (laughs) and i wasn't sure if that's what i saw you know i just kind of glimpsed and caught it and they were just taunting me (laughs) <laughs> I about ran to Walmart, grabbed some night crawler and some fishing poles and bear, went after him. Bear fishes that all the time. Yeah. He just puts his waders on and walks up and down and catches a small mouth. Yeah. 
And it's a sandy bottom, so I mean, there is some deep holes, but. I just remember a couple years ago, well, it's been more than a couple, but I'd worked out. Everything's a couple years ago, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'd, <laughs> I'd, work, I'd worked out of town for so many years, I didn't, I never worked there. I, I just went there once or twice a year for a safety meeting or a whatever. Other than that, you're in a hotel all the time. Yeah, and I pulled up, I, I just pulled into our shop and it's the river's on our uh, east border and I'm like, my shit, there ain't no water in it. <laughs> it's dry. It is shit. I mean, there's just like a puddle over here, but there's no continuous stream all the way through it. And I'm like, I'll be damned. There can't be fish in there. <laughs> I mean, there are, they're just trapped somewhere until they die. Yeah. But you just gotta find them. That's pretty much every river right now, though. Yeah, They're just kind of trapped. Man, ours sucks. Yeah. Yeah, all that rain we got, and it came up. Like, normal flow is 1,000. 750 to 1,000. And we've been at three-something all summer. We got all that rain for, like, two, three days straight. It came up to 480 and then dropped back down to three-something. Really? Yeah. They need to put some, like, bigger dams in or something. I don't know what the answer is, but we just got to have rain. I mean, we're, we're way behind schedule. Well, obviously, we ain't going to get it. We ain't got shit for the last how many years? Yeah, four. Right. This is the fourth summer that we've been below average, whatever average is. That's why I got rid of my boat, so I got tired of making you pull it around. <laughs> <laughs> I did enjoy pulling your boat around, though. And the only time he'd want to go fishing is, like, late August when the river is, like, a, a wading pool. Well, you want to know why? Because I didn't fish all summer because it's so damn hot and I was getting itch. <laughs> right. So we'd wait till right before dark and we'd set out. And I don't know, within every mile, I'd probably get out oh, pulling. <laughs> it, 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 it was a lot closer than that. We could still see each spot. I mean, it looks pretty shallow up there. <laughs> but it was fun. I always had a good time. And you got one good one. Yeah. Got a 30... Something. Four or five, something like that. That's a good one. They should have just taken oh. down in Panora. The, the, basically what they got in Panora was supposed to be here. If I, you were... I, uh, I'd take that. Yeah, my dad was telling me about that. Right yeah. out there where the golf course was at. It was, really? Yeah. I don't... And, well, the dam was supposed to be down by Rippy somewhere. Mm -hmm. Dawson. Really? Yeah, and it was all supposed to be back, clear up, and right where the golf course is at. I mean, I learned it in history of Green County. Now, where is it? <laughs> that that I, was actually I, in school. I, 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 John Turpin. I have a book yep. that says that. You know, they proposed a recreational lake. Yep. And the dam was like down by Dawson, between down around there somewhere. Who voted against that son of a bitch? Probably well, every farmer uh, between yeah. here. Well, yeah. and, and it was supposed to run almost clear up past Highway 30. Huh. Yep. And it would have been like... Bigger than Taylorville. Yeah. Could have had oceanfront property. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that dad would have had some. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. All the time getting to his house, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it's crazy. Like Brushy Creek up there, for example. Yep. What that area used to be before they flooded it, and now you just would never know. Right. You know, all those buildings and everything else, roads. That are underneath that water. Bridges. Yep. Yeah. And and unless you knew, I was talking to somebody the other day and they hunted it the year before they flooded it. Yeah. Oh, it was Sam. Big Sam Squatch. It's on the podcast all the time. Oh, yep. And when they started filling it, he actually deer hunted it that last year that you could hunt it. Huh. So that was pretty. I didn't know that Brushy was that new. I thought it was a lot older than that. Uh, like 80s, I think. Late 80s, early. It would probably have to be 90s. Yeah. Because he's he's a little younger than I am, than we are. Yeah. He's probably Timmy's age, actually. Yep. I remember Bug was always talking about how his dad used to talk, well, they're going to be building a new lake up here. I can't wait to fish it. I can't wait to fish it. And he talked about it for 20 years, and then he died and never got the chance to fish it. Oh, really? That sucks. Yep. Because apparently that, I mean, that kind of shit apparently doesn't happen overnight. I mean... It, well, I suppose. It takes years and years to get shit planted. I'm well, like, I think the big thing, like you guys talked about, was the farmers. Yeah. Because that ruins a lot of farmland. 
think they're just getting too hot. All right, hurry up, go, go, go. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Uh, we're back. We're back live. Again. So take three. Somewhat live. Take three. Where were we? My uh, GoPro nine keeps overheating. I know it's an issue with nines, but it was on sale. And I thought I was getting a bargain, which on the river it doesn't do that. So it is. It just. My five, I've got a GoPro five. It sucks for podcasts because the audio is not very good on it. So we're going to keep just doing 20 minute increments, I guess. <laughs> so we're talking about brushy and man-made lakes. When it first started, like the fish got huge, like quick. Yeah. Like especially the catfish. Well, lots of, lots of stuff to eat. Lot but of, yeah, but there was... 15 to 20 pound channel cats in there like regularly. Like you'd go out and catch an average channel cat of 10 pounds. Yeah. And that was crazy. And the muskie in there got huge. They're still big. They're, they are still big, but not as prevalent as they once were. Yeah. Small mouth used to be ginormous uh -huh. in there. But that's cool. And that takes a lot of sacrifice from a lot of people to make something like that happen. Oh yeah. Better get fishing more. You probably should. You probably should. I, I should. I mean, it sounds it sounds fun, but we got three kids in every sport imaginable. Yeah. We were looking yeah. at last I year. Cut them loose. They're on their own. <laughs> cut them loose. Well, I mean, something about. I mean, Atlanta. Atlanta's eleven. Yeah, she's eleven now, yeah. so she should be out on her own. Yeah, I mean, she can feed herself. Right. I mean, she can. <laughs> she just yeah, just just get them all out. We were we were looking. Got married last October, and we were looking for a free weekend to do something about taking a trip somewhere and it was going to be easter weekend it was our first weekend free well and the only reason it was free is because it was easter weekend <laughs> you know they don't schedule kids events on easter but i was like well we just didn't do anything yeah but actually though we are talking about going down uh wife turn 40 ish ish, ish. ish. 25 ish. 25 25 again, again. For like the 15th. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the other thing. If she's watching, she's like, you can't do math. So I, mean, I really can't. I cannot do, I cannot do that. Even simple math just blows my mind. But we are talking about going down uh, a couple friends of hers own a house down in Texas. I think it's around the Houston area. I'm not really sure. And they talk about, they got a dock right there. And I don't know. They talk about ocean fish. I'm like, I mean, I ain't real smart, but I don't believe there's an ocean. I believe it's like the Gulf of Mexico or something. Yeah, maybe it kind of runs out. It's, it's salt water. I mean, it's salt, oh, well, salt water. Salt water. I mean, but so it's I don't think it's like, is Houston on the Gulf? I don't know. I think so. He's as bad as he is in math. I am a geography. <laughs> it sounds like though we're. Uh, that's what she said. She's like and catch some monster ocean fish and i'm thinking Sweet. monster ocean fish i'm like fuck like florida marlin like that's a monster <laughs> ocean a or like monster. a big great white or something i want to catch something like that i mean but truly i actually don't care i'll catch anything every fish that you catch in the ocean feels like a monster because they're all on the menu they all have to fight to live so they all have teeth and they all fight like crazy mm. yeah, teeth sounds scary Galveston, houston it's all right there yeah it is Oh, see, so well, I'll try to get some info for you. Coming up, if you in, go down. Uh, anybody that's got any info on fishing around Houston, let me know. Yeah, no, November dynamite. dynamite in November. Dynamite's fine. November. Well, her birthday is November twenty first, so I think we're going then. Leaving on a Thursday, we're flying. How like, long have you guys been together? Uh, about four years. And you know her birthday. <laughs> That's well, well, you know, maybe just because, you know, we were talking about because for her birthday. Yeah, okay. So I knew the All day right. that we were going. All right. You know, so I was like, that's I, impressive. I like a four day pit. That's impressive. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. I mean, I've been married 20. for 23 years and I had to marry her on her birthday just so I could remember. I really <laughs> thought you were going to go with something about marry your cousin, so I knew something. I really was confused on where you were going with that, but I mean, I have to thank Facebook really. to remember anything. Right. Because Facebook's on the ball. You know, it I, is. and I, I figured out, I used to wish people happy birthday on Facebook. If you miss one, you're an asshole. So I just say, hey, wish nobody a birthday. <laughs> right. I, I mean, they ain't going to remember anyway. They're going to notice I didn't wish them a birthday on, you know. I would, you son of a bitch. I, you're usually the first one to call me, though. Yeah. Because you get up earlier than everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's your, that's your normal people. Like, I'll yeah. send a message. Yeah. To a handful. I don't really like people, to be honest with you, yeah. at all. They're overrated by far. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so it's like, that's what I 
you know, we're just talking about this. Like, we'll just fly down there. I'm like, you think I'm going to get on a plane with other freaking people and get over to the airport? I'm like, it's only a 14 hour drive. <laughs> Timmy didn't have to day. over that today. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm like, I, yeah. I'm like, just drive. I hate driving. Oh, well, Timmy's a truck driver. He told us, oh, I just had a, I just had to go to Wisconsin today. So he drove four hours there and four hours back. And yeah. that was his day. That was, that was <laughs> it. That was in my day. Uh, yeah. I got to drive names back. I'm like, that just sucks. <laughs> yeah. That's a 45 minute drive. Yeah. Every day. Back and forth. Yeah. That would suck. Just because that's an hour and a half of your day that you can't get shit done that you need to get done. That's what it would annoy the shit out of me. Right. But also, I live a block and a half from work and I'm late every day. Every <laughs> day. I'm usually early enough to cover his drive to work. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm usually 10 minutes late every day. I am, you know. Beth Peyton, he's like, when he first started working, yeah, I got there at like 6.50 and waited around till about 7.10 before anybody <laughs> We're not punctual, Drew. We're just good electricians. I think you guys are good at that, too. Every time I try to do something, I just get shocked and I get pissed. <laughs> Did you get your garage all done? Yeah. Is it all ready to roll? It is, yeah. It's, it's, awesome. all, it's all there, set to go, and now we're working on another addition. Did you get the power in there? Yeah. Did you get all that yep. panel and everything? Yeah, all up? that. All that panel is in there now. Now we got solar. Who did that? What? Uh, Nate, yes, actually. Oh, Nate nice. Nate did that. Uh, Nate's good. Go. Nate yeah. is good. I like, yeah. You I like Nate. Yeah. Yep. From up in the Sheridan area. Yep. Oh. Yeah, he was probably about your age. Yeah, he? you're older than me, so yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, when I worked with uh, Tom Gower, yeah. him and Nate were in school together. Yep, sure. So that's how I found out about Nate. No, I've, I've worked on some of the stuff that he's worked on. He's pretty good. He likes to hype junction boxes once in a while, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I've called him couple times. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Power goes into this wall and it doesn't come out. What's going on? <laughs> well, you see, you gotta take the fourth screw out down below the first cabinet and you'll find it. I sheet rocked my uh, first house I owned. They had a basement garage. And I sheet rocked and insulated the floor grosses of it. Lots of junction boxes. Yes, yeah. sheet rocked over. <clears throat> but I marked with a sharpie. With a hammer. <laughs> it's, a, it's a junction box right here. And I even wrote what it did on it. So if they ever need to get back in it, it's there. You're going to need a sheetrock saw. Unless somebody paints. They ain't painting that. <laughs> they ain't painting that. They ain't, they ain't painting that. <laughs> uh, old DIY. <laughs> yep. I made sure the wire nuts were tight. <laughs> Stapled them together. So you're going fishing Friday. What what else are your plans? Do you have any ice fishing plans yet? You got any no. trips made? I don't think so. Usually by the fourth of July you have at least two set. Oh uh, I, I told Matt, I said I'll, I'm gonna go on one with him. Just him and me up there. And then I said I wouldn't be opposed to doing like we did a couple years ago up to that big group. The old double P. Oh yeah. That place was awesome. It was. And the, the group of guys we took was perfect. Yep. Everybody had a good time except Ogre. Yeah. Matt's okay. <laughs> you get that Robert Mark in there and like, but it's next level. It is. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I need to do some more this winter. Yeah, I want to do I'd like to, as a matter of fact, I I would do that exact same one again. Yeah. There's enough lakes around there that we can find fish. Yeah. For sure. And we might even bring Timmy along. Well, see, that'd be ideal. I get. I mean, I don't know when you guys go, what time of day, but I need to get up. Got and, a snowmobile. Right? I actually got yeah. two of them. Two of them. I you, go, you don't need one. Well, well I mean, I can go ride for a until while. Until he sinks one. And then, <laughs> right. Right. You got to have the backup. Because while the other one, you know, thaws out and, you know. And, and, I've been known yeah. to sink one or three. You can get three. up and go riding. We'll go to the lake and meet us there and fish yeah. a little bit. Did, you, did we even need the four-wheelers and stuff last time we went? Yeah, when we went out on the ridge. There was that one lake on the ridge. We had to ride out quite a ways. Because, I don't know, the last two, two years up, we haven't needed a machine at all. We just drive right out there. Yeah, it was, it was early ice. That ain't that bad either. It was early ice when we went out. Or something. It wasn't, it was... Like they had cones up, like you couldn't drive on half yeah. the lake, and it was sketchy at best. But yeah, when you drive on, that's pretty nice. Yeah, Matt drives, I need to sink his truck on. 
as long as you get out, I guess. Yeah. That's the nice thing about a snowmobile is it just goes down. You ain't got anything keeping you in. <laughs> you, you just turn into a bobber. And right. You yeah. <laughs> <Whoop, whoop, whoop. laughs> you try to crawl out. It doesn't work real well, but I mean, it's, it's fine. When you sunk yours, that was pretty shallow water, wasn't it? Well, which which one are you talking here? Well, the one up at <laughs> Winter Games. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, I got lucky. That was right under, that was in between what, Spirit Lake and East Okaboja, I think. Whatever, whatever them. Look, right up under the Highway 9 bridge. And luckily, yeah, it was real. Oh, that's real a shallow water. Yeah. Thin ice through there. I got I got lucky. I mean, because it, it was I was standing on the seat. And the DNR guy come up and... He says, you standing on that thing? I'm a smart ass. I thought, you know, kind of not in the best <laughs> position. I'm standing on a snowmobile in water, which is illegal to cross water, which I didn't really know. But apparently, skipping water is a ticket. I got a ticket for it. And I said, <laughs> it was ice when I started. Right? I like, I, the engine melted. I was like, I am. I was like. And then that was about the end of that. Yeah. And then we got it out, and it was fine. But yeah, I got a nice ticket for skipping water. I was like, huh? Huh? Well, I didn't really skip it. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I didn't make it all the way across. Technically, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, should have won. On is there default. is there drowning a snowmobile <laughs> ticket? Yeah, that's what I did. That's that's what I did. Yeah. Why is there a ticket for that? I just they're fun haters. They are. They are yeah. fun haters. But the other one, well, yeah, and then the other time, actually, uh, probably, this is real embarrassing. I first time I was on a snowmobile, first one I actually bought, it was probably 20, 25 years ago or something, right out of the golf course. On the river? No, oh. no, no. Oh, Jesus. No, on no, the little pond. On the little pond there. Oh, Jesus. I was like, you know, I was like 18, 17, 18 years old, and I was out riding at night, and I was like, you know, they're all crossing, they're starting way back. Too. And I golf out here, it ain't deep. I thought it'd be a good idea to start about this far from the edge of the water. <laughs> now it didn't work, and I'm like, well, here we are <laughs> in the water. So You probably could have found about 18 of my golf balls. <laughs> you know, I probably should have started looking, other than it was dark and I couldn't really see, but I mean, it was a little chilly. Yeah, it was, it was fine. You tuck your testicles up inside you. It, yeah, it, it, it did that, and we got home and took off. I guess so. Take a shower, step down, says, what happened? I asked, sunk snowmobile, he says, okay. And he went back to bed. <laughs> Not a care in the world. Yeah. You're on your own. Yeah, it's you like, bought it. Right, it's like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. You know? I'm like, mm, whatever. You made it home. <laughs> right? It can't be too bad. Yep. So I've been lucky. I haven't sunk anything that's been real deep. Do you travel to snowmobile? I have before. I've taken a couple trips, well, one trip up to the UP, which I would love to go back up there. Uh, Mainly for the beers. <laughs> scenery. <laughs> scenery. Yeah. Scenery, yeah. I mean, we go up there to Muna Sing and Christmas. Just a little town called Christmas. It's kind of it's kind of fun. They've got great trails up there. And, you know, it was it was fun, but trail riding is kind of boring, too, at the same time. It's 70 mile an hour anywhere you want to go. Yeah. And then... Which would be fun know. for the first day. Yes. Yeah. The first day. Yeah. I mean, they do have a bunch of off-trail stuff but i mean you get up in that area and it's that snow's deep you get off you're yeah. you're done unless you keep moving you wish you were in the water <laughs> yeah you exactly you would and there was a time too and i like i love riding river and crossing open water we were up there outside of i don't know another town and i see there's water on one side and i was like or actually it was a lake or whatever it's covered with snow and i'm like look, i stop i look i'm like huh no tracks over there I'm like <laughs> And everybody's on the trail, and I'm sitting there. The guy's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm thinking about riding down there. He's like, there's no tracks. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your point? Yeah. Probably not a good idea. I was like, all right. <laughs> this oh. this, this be the fifth not good idea of that today. <laughs> right. I was like, I guess. I was like, I don't know. I'll just continue on this trail. Uh, this would have had some form of excitement. Yeah. One of the trips up to South Dakota... Matt and I went to fish this lake that's like two bodies of water and a bottleneck's real close. And there was 30, 35 inches of ice. Holy shit. We <laughs> drive anywhere we want to. We'd never been on this lake. And we heard, oh, the bite, the walleye bites here. And I'm like, 
We gotta go. Yeah, we gotta get there. Because they wouldn't lie to us. So, so, <laughs> so, we, right. so we, we, we put on. Nobody else out there at all. <laughs> so we put on, and we're like, get soul people out here. Of course, it's like Wednesday. Like, people don't If the wall are biting, they don't care what right. day it is. <laughs> and then we get out of ways, and we're driving across, and what well, we see, 15 shacks about two miles that way. So, follow tracks, and it kind of the tracks kind of stop, a couple of them turn around. I mean, it's blowing snow, you can't really tell what's what. We just keep on driving. And we drove all the way to these other shacks, and we ended up meeting the couple of dudes from uh, like Watertown and I don't know, they were brothers. They had an ice castle out there. They were fishing from the truck. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> with tip ups. And we sit there and we watch these guys. They have tip ups out front of their ice castle. Looks like a football field with grid lines, you know. And they got these little black buckets with Zepco 33s on top of it. And that's, the, that's their tip up style. Genius. Yeah. Put a bobber on top, bobber disappears, you got a bite. There's a hole drilled through the top of the bucket. Yeah. And uh, Matt goes, I gotta go talk to these fuckers. I gotta see what, <laughs> what they're doing. Because there was a kid who'd come out of that, that shack about every five minutes and pull up a walleye and throw it back down the hole. What are you doing? <laughs> Eat those. <laughs> so we went up was bullshitting with them. And they said, well, where'd you guys come from? Well, because they were all getting on the lake from this side. Yeah. And we come from that side. And I go, well, we came on over here. And he goes, how the fuck did you get here? And I'm like, well, drove straight through here. He goes, I don't remember what they called that straight. Because you drove through that? <laughs> and we're like, yeah. <laughs> he goes, and your truck's not sunk in the water? And I'm like, hey, I wasn't driving that. I was driving. <laughs> well, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. He's like, well, the ice is only about four or five inches thick through there in spots. And I'm Holy like, well, shit. we made it. Of course, there's 18 feet of snow on top of it. So yeah. I goes, it very deep. And it goes, no, 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 about three foot deep. And there's like three inches, four inches of ice. And like, well, we, we had plenty of snow under us. I mean, shit. <laughs> we dispersed it. <laughs> that's and crazy. The thing, the and thing, that's, that's the something you, about local knowledge yeah, so when, you're, when the, you're out there. The things you don't know. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's probably a million times we almost died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's at least 30 I can think of right on top of my head. Of course, Matt's like, oh, I didn't know that. I'm like, I fucked your truck. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I'll kick the windshield out and get out. <laughs> but did you go back that way? No. Do you, you see, we, you learned. We learned. You yeah. learned a little That's something. Right. We learned. Learned to live another day. Huh. Right. So, Timmy, back to dirt tracking. You got Boone Nationals. Yep. Do you go to any other after that? Because there's uh, quite a few bigger there, races at the end of the season. There is, but they're sprint they're a ways away. I'm not a big sprint car guy. Uh, I mean, I go down once, but just the problem is, fucking starter in a sprint car already. I get <laughs> tired of watching them spin out and then they gotta wait. Push you push them. Yeah. It's like you can put a 20 pound starter on this son of a bitch and it ain't gonna matter. It's not. Just push button and go. I I. <laughs> That thing that pissed me off about a sprint car. I mean, they're Boycott. fast, they're loud, they're badass. Yeah. But I'm like, put a starter on them. Put a starter. I'm not going to sit there for three hours just waiting to watch push around. I went to those nationals, like Knoxville Nationals, 20 years ago with Robert. Yeah. And oh, that was awesome. Yeah. I mean, they hand out school like no other. <laughs> they got a snap on tent that yeah. hands out hot dogs. We never, I don't. I was down there for like three days, never once watched a race. Yeah, I mean, it's, cra it's crazy down there. And that's what Boone Nationals could be, it, if yeah. you want it to be. Yeah, if you want it to be. I mean, when I was like 13 years old, they had a wet t-shirt contest after the races in this big tent. No t-shirts involved. I saw more tits that day than I had in my life up to that point. Yeah. <laughs> that's counting Playboys, that's counting anything. Uh, yeah. It was... It was a learning experience that day. That's where yeah. men grow up. <laughs> yeah, and they they still they still do those now and again. Yeah, not quite as neat though. No, most of them are, that participate are yeah, yeah. need a you know, I, I need a consolation prize. I announced one of those one year. <laughs> Did you? 
Yeah. In I English did. or well, Youngishness. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, there's photos I believe that say I was up there. I yeah. don't really recall. I mean, it's that's a normal national moment. Yeah, there's a time I lost just one shoe. One shoe over there. <laughs> Woke up the next morning, bottom of the camera. There's one shoe. I'm like, probably where he lost his virginity. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> kind of where Lana was conceived. So if you, if you do, the, if you do the math, that's where things get lost. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of, lots of losing. Lots going of good on. times. And like Timmy it. always brings a couch. Yeah. So if I get a little too shit faced when I'm there visiting, I usually just sleep on the couch. Yeah, it, it works great. <laughs> I woke up in the rain a couple times. It was on fire one time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that used to be a thing. I used to burn them every year, and then uh, kind of got it was frowned upon. Yeah. They shut her down. Well, I threw a couple tires on, and oh, well, that uh, was it was black, and they actually black shut black down the races for all the four wheelers to come over, and I'm just like. Hi. <laughs> that's my bad. Bad deal. Oh, no, where are the tire came from? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. May have burnt the front of a few kaibos in my life with a couch. But... Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah, they don't know for certain. This is getting videotaped. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's fine. This is like confessional tape. Don't it'll be, it'll yeah. be fine. It, the statue of limitations is way past. Right, because so, I actually have seven days, right? <laughs> seven days. I haven't burnt a couch over there for probably going on eight or nine years now. Probably. Kind of, kind of learned, and now I actually like remember the races. I don't drink nearly as much, and I, I thought it was funny. Jeremy put on his post. Sunday, he goes, that watch a little nap car, and yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, and it worked. <laughs> yeah. I can't watch NASCAR. I just can't do it. They just changed it. It's not a race anymore. It's all about sponsors and money. And it's not a race. I like college football. Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. The NIL and all that shit. Oh, well, yeah, it's good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Make a bunch of money to not, not even have to go to the pros anymore. Okay. Yeah, no shit. Which is good for them. Well, yeah. if, if when I was wrestling in college, if somebody was dumb enough to right. offer me 10 bucks, I'd have took it. Yeah. Like, all you, all you got to say is, you like mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise. <laughs> Give me my 10 yeah. bucks. Yeah. Oh, Whether yeah. you do or not, yeah. here's the shit. I, the shit. I didn't eat anything anyway. So, <laughs> well, right. I would have loved some mayonnaise <laughs> yeah. at that point. We suck around a salt and crap and just try to make weight. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll take one of them. Need one? Yeah. So do you drink any more at all, Timmy? Mm, well, about now, I guess. I mean, oh, <laughs> very, very, I was gonna, very rarely on it. I mean, I was going to say, I was going to call and see what kind of bottle you wanted me to get. And I'm like, the last probably dozen times I've been around him, he hasn't been drinking at all. I so I didn't know if you drank anymore or not. You don't have a problem, do you? I, well, the problem would be is he was very good at it. I was I was <laughs> real I was real good at it and I used to be real good. Had a, had a couple run-ins and you know now I figure my life is way too uh, way too important and I get up at four o'clock to go to work. Yes. So, I mean, I really need to lose my job. And no, right. all of that. So no, because then you'll still wake up at four o'clock because your right. body's used to yeah. it. Then you're like, like I have nothing to do. Well, I guess I'll uh, wait for the sun to come up, and in the wintertime, that's a long time. It'll be like three hours. I went, I went up to visit him one time and when he went to school in South Dakota. What did they call them? Paddle games or something? Or... Yeah, it was our college head. It's kind of like Visha for Iowa State. Sure. But a much smaller scale. <laughs> well, he... Paddle days. I don't, he yeah, called paddle said, days. Hey, our... Group won the competition, and I could I maybe I remember it all wrong, but we went up like the next week because like half the people were gone already. And we had a big keg, and everything well, out I, I remember sitting playing hacky sack, everybody had a case of beer behind them, and this is like at nine o'clock in the morning. Well, yeah, and, and <laughs> just like we, me, of course, we were up. up. <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm tipping them. Mm. I'm like, I'm not home. I don't, I got babysitters. Right? <laughs> yeah. 
Well, we drank all day long. Like, and early, we go to this bar. I might say early, I'm guessing it was five, six, seven o'clock, early. That, that is early. And I remember the guy. Not when you start drinking at nine. Bar time. <laughs> bar time. Bar, bar early. Bar early, yeah. And I remember Ryan and I walked in, I think it was called the cab. It was yeah. A hotel. It was a hotel bar. It was the nicest bar in here. Perfect. And yeah. I, re I, re I remember the guy checking our IDs going, your friend's too drunk to be in here. Uh, and be hot before then. Three, two, one. <laughs> Action. Well, yeah, I Take remember, four. I, I remember the guy checking our IDs saying, your friend's too drunk to be in here. Well, we wanted it anyway. <laughs> I was kind of known. You were a big in that area. area. Yes. I was yes. like, he's fine. <laughs> Turns out he was not fine. Well, I was, I mean, I was cross eyed. None of us, none of us were fine. Well, right at that point. And I, re yeah. I remember going to the bar, and he told me to stay away from somebody. I don't remember who or what, but we went. And we had a couple shots of bourbon. Yeah. Lights out. Yeah. But apparently, my body was still going. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I apparently left the bar. Just disappears. Like and, like it like midnight. Well, I, I the next thing I can remember is I'm face down in the mud, handcuffed, and I got a cop's knee in my back, going, "What are you doing here?" And, I, and, and I'm <laughs> like, "Would you be more specific?" I'm like, uh, "Like where am I?" I'm like, apparently I was conscious the whole time, but apparently my brain just decided to start participating. <laughs> And I'm like, he goes, do you know where you are? And I'm like, mm, South Dakota. He goes, what town? I said, mm, Huron. He goes, what are you doing here? And I said, visiting friends. He's like, who's your friends? And I'm like, well, I don't get anybody in trouble. <laughs> and uh, apparently I was trying to get into somebody's house to go to bed. <laughs> I, I guess. And and I remember <laughs> I remember kind of collecting myself. And the assholes wouldn't let him in. Well, so I kind of remember collecting myself. And here's this like 75, 80 year old bald headed man got his head out the door. Like, I, sorry, dude. I was tired, I guess. I, I don't know. Well, the cop, dude, the, the coolest cops I've ever met. The guy goes, where are you staying? And I'm like, what's the address? I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah. I don't know the address. I go, <laughs> I go, I go, it's, it's, it's over like across the school maybe. And he goes over by like the elementary or I don't remember what the yeah. school was or what it was. And he goes, yep. I know right where you're going. I said, <laughs> I, I, go, I go, I'm standing with my buddy. He wrestles and he's got a couple football players for roommates. And he goes, yeah, I know where you're going. <laughs> Drop your bomb at our door. Yep. Very nice. <laughs> No, 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 nothing. I'm like, I, I was sorry. I, I don't know what it was, dude. I just, I blacked out and I was apparently. So we probably late. didn't get back there until three thirty, four o'clock, because we're looking for him everywhere around town. Because he left the bar at like midnight. So by closing time, we're really getting worried. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I. I He's at our house waiting on us. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, what took you? Wow, where are you guys been? <laughs> What's really scary is I don't know. There's a gap. I don't know what I did. Like a seven, eight hour gap. And I don't know how. I don't know how far of a walk I had, or who took me, or what they did to me. <laughs> Welcome to I South sure, Dakota. I sure the fuck didn't walk that far. Well, I, mean, I don't imagine. I wouldn't have either. I mean, I, I think I was abducted. By aliens. Yeah, mainly by aliens. Mainly, mainly by aliens. I, I mean, I believe it. Um, Definitely. It's probe time. Or a 280 lady. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been. It constitutes. <laughs> Hell yes. Another trip up there. We ended up getting my truck out of impound and the buddy out of the clink. And... Yeah, that was another bad one. He decided we went out drinking. Everybody went to bed. He decided he was going to get up in a town that he has no idea about and go get something to eat. In my truck. In, in, in Brian's truck. Huh. That was another one. We just went to sleep, woke up the next morning. He wasn't here. <laughs> my first call was to the clink. Yeah, we got him. Yeah, yeah we got him. My, okay, we'll come collect him here in a minute. <laughs> you got a truck too, by the oh, way. Oh, it's in impound. You're going to have to pay to get that out. <laughs> huh. 
Yeah. Uh, good times. Young and dumb. Yeah, the only trouble he got is you can't drive in South Dakota for 10 years or five years or yeah. whatever. Oh, just wait. Brian's like, I don't like his town anyway. Yeah, that's right. Dang, you ever been back. I ain't coming back. <laughs> Hell yes. All right, fellas. I think that's a good cord to wrap her up. We'll, uh, hey guys, we always end it on a last cast. A last cast is anything that you want to end up in. Anything you want to say to the audience. Anybody you want to thank. Anybody, anything that we talked about you want to revisit. Maybe or anything out. that we haven't talked about. Did you, you say Moonshine? Talk Maybe a shout out to your mama. Oh, yeah. yeah. My mom's the best. Hi, Joy. My mom is the best. <laughs> I, I could, well, okay. Since you, since you brought up mom, I'll, I'll talk. I love her dearly. So she sends me a message this afternoon, right? And I'm still at work. And she says, I'll try this better. Better. No but, sense of paraphrasing. Right. No, no sense of paraphrasing at all. She says to me, this is 354. I was just about done with work. Is some kid mowing the lot? I don't know. I'm at work. <laughs> and for the people who don't know, I used, I own a lot right next to where I used to live. I sold the house. But I keep oh, the you lot. did? I sold the house. I keep the lot for my camper. And my daughter's actually been mowing, but she's not with me, so I don't know. <laughs> they they are I, telling thanks. Right, exactly. <laughs> and I'm thinking, this is good. Somebody's <laughs> mowing. I don't have to pay Lana to mow it tomorrow. <laughs> this is great. I was win, like, win. Right, I'm like, I don't know. She says, there is some kid there, and there's a woman sitting on a trailer. I said, huh? Oh. Like, I don't know. I don't want to waiting for daddy to come home. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to respond. And then Randy says the woman on the trailer is just sitting there. You just said that. I was like, okay. And she says, did you leave the mower down there? I says, yeah, we left the other mower down there. We still got the one at home, but that's the old mower from the house. She says, some kid is playing with it. I said, okay. Is he mowing? Well, I don't. I don't you might have racing stripes. You go, and it's all mowed. I don't know. You need to, you need to ask the right questions. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. Like, I, number one, I'm not home. Number two, I, I, great if there is. Yeah, that's better for me. So yeah. I don't. I, I don't know. I didn't go by. I, I really don't care. <laughs> no, that's that's where it ended. So uh, you're not pay Lana either way. Well, so. Right. <laughs> right. So I, I don't know if it got mowed or maybe they were just sitting there on the trailer. I, maybe your mower's gone. It could be. We got another one. Yeah. I generally, that's the other thing. My wife cannot stand it. I reply with, okay. To like everything. <laughs> like, okay. Thanks for got the it. Got it. Right. Yep. I, like, I, I don't need the, I don't need the big long response. Told me that day. She's like, would you say something else? Then I'll kill me. Okay. <laughs> Just put okie dokie then. <laughs> right? I was, like, I was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't worry about it. She's like, how long is this podcast? I don't know. She's like, well, is it live? I don't know. It's this evening. <laughs> yeah. Right. Be home like, when I get home. Yeah. Right. Like, Wait, how, how, times the, how many times the camera stops? <laughs> right. right. I'll, I'll be home in time to go to bed. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, well, then she also says, she's like making ham steak and eggs and toast for supper. And she well, says. Well, then we'll be over. Right. <laughs> but apparently all I get We're moving is, the podcast. Yeah. Let's go. She just says, do you want some ham tonight? Well, I like the other two things as <laughs> well that. It is <laughs> like, what do you mean? All I get is ham? I don't get the eggs and the toast? Hey, hey, maybe that's code for something else. Oh. Uh, uh, well, you aren't getting to that age. She, she got this. Right. The, the thick slice waiting on you. Right. <laughs> Can I eat ham first? <laughs> right. I, mean, like, I guess, guess I just go home and eat ham. I don't get anything else. <laughs> Thanks, honey. And you're lucky to have it. Right. <laughs> lucky to have that ham. So I guess that's... Oh, I got. Oh, I got. B boy. You got anything? Um, I got nothing. No last cast. Nothing. Me, I guess. All right. Well, I just want to thank both of you guys. I had a blast. You know, we talked for half hour, 45 minutes before this even started. <laughs> Probably another 15 minutes in between intermissions. Yeah. <laughs> intermissions, like a farm session at the yeah. racetrack. Yeah. So I uh, put on Facebook yesterday. If anybody wanted to do a podcast, and I had several responses, and my twin brother said, "Tenny, if you'll do one, I'll be there." And then another guy said, "I'll be there. You know, I'm funny. I don't know anything about fishing, but I'm funny." 
Well, Timmy showed up. I did. And then my standby B-boy shows up. I'm always up for it. <laughs> I don't do a lot of talking, but I'm up for it. <laughs> so, I want to thank you guys for saving the day. This will be out Friday morning. I uh, thank Whisker Secret Tackle for all the support they give me. Um, Drastic Plastic, Scott Monroe. I'll be in Wisconsin a week from Friday. Going to go up and see Scott and do some fishing up there. Um, JB's Fish Sauce. Uh, Corey Weaver fished a... Uh, Catfish tournament with Spencer last weekend. They didn't do too, so hot, but they got a couple good ones. Yeah, it's fishing with Spencer, right? Yeah. I mean, Corey kind of handicapped fishing with yeah, Spencer. Yeah, that's, that's a fish with one hand tied behind you. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, all you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I missed a podcast last week because my footage didn't turn out. So next week's going to come back with another podcast. So we will see you then. Thanks, guys. Cheers.